3D printing has a problem, and it's a problem with waste. If you're like me and you print a lot, odds are you have a ton of these empty filament spools all over your house, all over your workshop. You're tripping over them. They're a mess. And then the question is, what do you do with them after you've used them up? Well, a couple of companies have come up with solutions, and today we're going to take a look at one of those. And this solution comes to us from eSun Filaments. And today we're going to take a look and see how this solution that eSun's doing and some other companies out there are doing as well is going to help us eliminate a lot of this garbage from making its way to the landfill and to keep it from cluttering up your house. So we're going to take a look at that today here on 9142 Props and Armory. So we have a problem with mess, with waste, when it comes to 3D printing. So I was on Twitter a couple weeks ago and the uh, and eSun put out a tweet uh, in regards to looking for people to review a new product line for them, which is their reusable or refillable uh, rolls of filament. So I had a conversation with them and at the end of it they ended up sending me one of these to try out. The cool thing is that eSun is allowing um, their filament rolls to be reusable. Now, it can be reused in a couple different ways. Their clear plastic rolls, filament rolls that they ship their filament with, are able to be taken apart. Most filament rolls, when you get them, uh, the two halves of them are glued together and they are difficult at best to, to take apart and disassemble to reuse for something in an application like this. Um, their particular rolls have a couple screws that you can remove on the inside on those clear plastic ones, take them apart and allow you to refill. I wanted to go a little step further and I found one over on Thingiverse. I'll have a link down in the description for that. And I went ahead and I printed my very own eSun refillable filament spool. So now I have a spool that I can refill, that I can use each and every time I get a brand new roll of filament, and I don't have the mess and the waste of empty plastic spools to deal with. Now I have a printed filament holder that I printed on my CR10. Um, uh, the black was printed in, in, in an eSun filament that I had some left over. In about 10 to 12 hours, I was able to print my own filament spool um, to use this product on. So we have that. It's threaded. The two halves just thread together. Nice and easy. So let's take a look at what eSun sent over for us to check out. eSun is nice filament. And I have used it before in the past. So let's open it up and take a look and see. So on the inside, we have a booklet covering eSun's product line with some good information on there and inside we have our reusable spool of filament so let's take a look at that it is a lovely blue color it is vacuum sealed very very nicely so let's go ahead and get that guy opened up so we can check out the material and get this filament spool loaded up so that we can print with it. Now, before you go ahead and install your filament into your either reused spool holder that you have from eSun previously or one that you've printed, we need to make sure that we get this into the spool holder properly before we go ahead and cut these bands off. You cut these bands off prematurely, you are gonna have one hell of a mess on your hands. Uh, also in the package here, they do give you a sticker with the temperature settings for printing the material that we can go ahead and stick right onto the spool we printed. We threw the sticker on there, We've got that on there. We know what our temperature should be all the time. All right, so let's open up this guy. 
for what should be something that is pretty simple to go ahead and do. We're going to go ahead and get our filament put onto our reusable spool. Now I don't know which direction will make this easier. If there is a one way is better than the other type of thing to do this as I haven't loaded one of these guys up before. So let's just go ahead and put it on there. And as per usual with most other things on the channel, we'll just go ahead and we'll hope for the best. There are nice little grooves on the, on the uh, inside of this guy where we can tuck the opposite end of the filament into. And then when we screw this all together again, that's going to hold nice and tight in place. So see how that is tucked in right there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and screw the top back on here so that we can close this guy off. Just be careful when you go ahead and thread this on if you're going to use the printed variety of these that you don't cross thread when you're putting it back together. All right, so our filament spool is loaded. We have our blue filament loaded up onto the spool. Let's go ahead now that that is in there and in place and go ahead and clip the bands on everything so that we can go ahead and print with this. And now we have a roll of filament that is ready to go. All right, so what's left to do is we're going to go ahead, we're going to load the, load the printer up. We're going to do a print or two on here with this. We're going to check it out and see how well it works. We'll print something for Henry. Yeah. What should we print? All right, so I, I've got to call it a successful test. I really like the idea of having reusable filament spools. It does a lot of really good things. First and foremost, it keeps some of these filament spools from going into the landfill because recycling doesn't always catch all these things. They're not all labeled as to what type of plastic they are. So a lot of them still end up going into a landfill, which is terrible. Uh, it does a lot of other good things too. It reduces the shipping weight of each spool of filament, thereby reducing fuel costs to transport these things and being better for the environment. It is a great idea. A couple companies have jumped on board with this. I would really love to see other ones do it. The more companies that do this, the better things are going to be and the less waste we're going to throw back out there uh, into landfills and, and, and polluting. It's not somewhere we want to be with this hobby. So if you are in contact with, with companies who produce filament and sell filament, let them know this is something you want to see. Support companies that do make this type of product available. eSun makes it. There's some other ones out there as well. Support those companies. Let those companies know that this is something we want to see more of. I want to see more of it and whenever I possibly can, I'm going to go out of my way to get filaments that do use reusable spools because it just makes sense. As for this eSun filament, the print is going very, very well behind me. It is running on the CR10 and you can see my self-made filament roll doing its job exactly what it's supposed to do. So. Thank you guys for checking out the video. Go ahead and get yourself some of this or something similar to it so that you can do your part to reduce our ecological footprint in this hobby. Also, if you like the video, be sure to go ahead and like it. Subscribe to the channel. And thanks to all of you who have watched the video that's playing behind me that we did last week and put up last week about 3D printing a mold. Six, over 6,000 people have watched the video already so far. We've gotten 125 new subscribers to the channel. And when you have a channel that has only about 700 subscribers, before I put this up, that's huge. So thank you guys. Go ahead and continue to like the videos. Comment down below. I will still do my very best always to respond to those comments and keep that conversation going. So thank you guys. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, let me know what you think of this one, 
and let me know if you've used this material as well and reusable filament spools and let's continue to let manufacturers know that this is something we want to see. So it's John from 9142 Props and Armory. Have a great week. I'll see you soon.